Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly Facebook Live this week. Today is going to be a little bit different. I don't have a completed project to share with you, but I do have over 20 cards that I'm going to share with you from a card swap that I did. So we're going to do a quick catalog walkthrough because today is brand new annual catalog day. Today's the day the catalog is launching. So we're going to do a quick catalog walkthrough and then we're I'm going to show you a bunch of of cards made with all new colors, all new products, all new papers, all new stamps, all new dies, punches, all of that. So we're going to get into those in just a minute. Um, if you are excited about May's Paper Pumpkin, I am too. It's going to be great. It's featuring the brand new um, in colors for this year, the 2023-2025 in colors. This box is going to be gorgeous. It's going to come to you in color, um, but there's also going to be nine cards three each of three designs it's going to be a fantastic kit and the more I use our colors the more I'm loving them I, I was a little hesitant at first but the more I use them the more I love them so this is going to be a great great kit so you still have time to subscribe you need to subscribe by May 10th if you want this um, kit for May there is a link to subscribe in the video description um, you can also buy prepaid um, three, six, or 12 month paper pumpkin subscriptions, and then you don't have to worry about it at all. You have that ready to go. All right, my May card crate for the month of May is going to feature the Zany Zoo. Now, card crate is a class to go. It comes to your mailbox. You get $20 in product, and it is a fantastic little class. And so we are featuring the Zany Zoo bundle, and these cards are so stinking adorable. We're gonna color them with Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna give you lots of fun tips with that. Um, and if you need to add on the bundle to the to your card crate, you can. This is such a cute little bundle, and um, I have so much coming with this um, later in the month. So you'll see more with it. But if you love it, uh, make sure that you um, get this month's card crate. It's going to be a really good one. You can um, get details on that in the video description. They are in the video description. All right, guys, this is our brand new annual catalog. This will go until April of 2024. So we have a full year to play with this catalog. And there's just a few amazing things that I wanna point out about this catalog. So um, if you don't have one, if you're in the United States and you don't have one, please contact me, I'd love to get you one. One of the things, before we get to the inside, one of the things that I always get asked about is this spiral binding. Uh, my customers ask me at classes, I always get asked about this in videos. I get this done at my local Staples. I know Office Max will do it too. I think like Kinko's will do it too. Any office supply store or printing center should have the capability to do it. And it's not very expensive. Um, I always get a front um, clear cover on mine as well. And I get it laminated and it's under $10 to get it done. So if you if you love that, if you use your catalog a lot, um, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, but if you need a catalog, if you're in the United States and need one, please let me know. I'd love to get you a catalog. All right, the first thing I want to bring your attention to is this little um, table of contents, this on page three. So this will tell you all the different product suites that are in here. And we have 10 different product suites in here. We'll go into those in just a minute. Um, but these little catalog icons, I have never really mentioned these, but I think that they're important to, to point out. Each of these little icons, you'll see next to a next to a little catalog, next to a stamp set. Of course, I pull one out that doesn't have. So there's like a little in that means that it is a brand new product. So that's exciting. Um, there's quick and simple. This one is my favorite one. Let me hold this up a little bit better. This little mini cut and emboss machine. That means that it will fit in our mini cut and emboss machine. So if you don't have the big one or you want dies specifically for that mini one, if you look for that little icon next to the dies, that will tell you if it fits in or not. We have a distinctive logo. The distinctive stamps are those stamps that when you you stamp it with one ink, you get all the multiple shades of coloring. It's pretty fantastic. Reversible. We have the million dollar logo. So when you hit a million dollars in sales, you get to design your own stamp set. And so those stamp sets are noted with that. And then we also have the different language stamp sets as well. So um, just make sure you are aware of those. And you may have wondered in the past, what, is that, what does that mean? So check out that little key on here so you can figure that out. Um, okay, on page six, as the catalog has amazing products in it, but we also have online exclusives that are only available online. They are not in a publication. So if you are shopping my online store, make sure you just click over to that online exclusive tab, um, just in case, just so you don't miss anything. And let's keep going. All right, so I wanted to just talk about one 
particular sweet. And we'll talk about all kind of all the sweets in with this one. But I wanted to pull this one up. This is the Earthen Texture Sweet. Now, all the sweets have a bundle, whether it's a stamp set and die bundle or a stamp set and punch bundle. They all have a bundle. They all have a coordinating DSP. And then they all have something different that coordinates with it as well. Sometimes it's ribbon. Sometimes it's an embossing folder. Sometimes it's specialty paper. Sometimes it's an embellishment. So there's always something else that coordinates with that entire suite. Now, if you look down here, you can get this entire suite with one item number. So you don't have to type in multiple item numbers. You can get this, everything in this suite. If you love sweets, or if you love everything in this suite, you can get that with that one item number down here. So you don't have to type in multiple different item numbers. Now this one I wanted to spotlight specifically because this one is in a new language for us. You can get this stamp set in Spanish. I'm trying to figure out, yeah. It does come in Spanish. So you can get this one. So down here it says English, Espanol, and French. So you can get this in Spanish. So I am I know for some of my New Mexico friends, you guys might might really love that. I, I get asked, not all the time, but I get asked pretty frequently if we have any Spanish stamp sets, and I'm so excited that now I can say we do. So um this is a great one. There's gonna be greetings and images in Spanish for that one. So if you have a Spanish speaking friend, family member, this is gonna be a great great one for you. This DSP looks really interesting. I'm really excited to get this one in person. So, and then this ribbon, fantastic. So let me just pull up another suite real quick, just to show you that as well. Let me find another one. Here it is. The, um, the zoo crew suite. Love this one. So this one's ribbon, um, paper, and then the bundle. But again, you can get everything with that one item number. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Um, oh, you know what? Let's go back to the front real quick because I forgot to point this out. I have a little note next to me, which is why I keep kind of hesitating, but I wanted to pull this back up. Um, on page 12 and 13, we have a, an entire line of kits. These are, um, crafting kits, card kits, all kinds of different kits. So if you love crafting on the go, if you love projects that you don't have to think too much about. Our kits collection is great. The kits collection also works great for gifts. It works great for kids. It's great for beginner stampers. There's so many reasons to buy our kits and we have so many of them. Um, and then there's a whole page on paper pumpkin here. And again, it has all of those prepaid subscriptions right here on this page on 13. So, um, if you love kits, if you love paper pumpkin, make sure you check out these pages. All right. Let me move on on my on my notes here. All right, page uh, 122. Why can't I find it? We're going to move on. Hold on. There we go. Page 122. Now this 122, 123 has all of our colors. I wanted to highlight this because we just went through a color refresh. And so if you want to know which colors are new, which colors are returning, you can see up here, they'll either have a returning color or a new color logo on here. So, um, that is a good way to pinpoint that. Now, if you have been a collector of some of our colors for a while, and maybe you already have all of the old colors, and you don't want to have to type in, you know, 14 different item numbers for cardstock and for ink, look at this gem over here on page 125. There's ink pad bundles. There is um, ink refill bundles, the new core colors. So you can get um, cardstock. This is... This is the 12 by 12, I think. Yeah, 12 by 12. This is the inks um, and then markers of just the new core colors. So it is a fantastic way to purchase just those colors if you just want the new colors. Um, if you want, you know, all of the brights, we also have those in bundles too. So you can get those too. But just make sure that you point out um, or that you know that those are available. If you already have some of the other colors and you just want the new ones, you can get them with one easy number. All right. Um, also, I wanted to point out that our markers, our stamp and write markers have been redesigned. So I know that picture is a little bit glary down there. So our markers come in all of our colors. You can get all four color groups um, with one item number. So that helps you out too. So I wanted to show you the difference in these markers. So these are our stamp and write markers. These are the ones that have been redesigned. These are our stamp and blends. So you can see they are, they're different markers. The stamp and blends, they're more of a rectangle or square shape. The stamp and writes are round. The Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers. These are great for coloring. These are not good for like techniques. 
The Stampin' Write markers are good for watercolor techniques. You can color directly onto your stamps with these and stamp them. These are water-based, so you can treat them just like your ink pads. Um, but they are completely different. So Stampin' Blends are different than Stampin' Write markers. But if you've had our Stampin' Write markers in the past, um, you'll notice a significant change. So the, the brush tips have been designed differently as well as the the bullet tips and the bullet tips is where you're going to see the most significant improvement you can see that um, previously in the past it looked more like a pen and let me grab I'll just grab a regular pen so it was more like like a regular pen the ink would just kind of flow through the tip of the pen and it honestly didn't write too well but now our ink you can see that that tip it saturates the entire tip now so your bullet tip is going to be so much more useful, so much more efficient than our Stampin' Write markers have been in the past. So these have been completely redesigned. They are so much better. They're a great marker. Um, but I just want to make sure that you guys do not get them confused. They are two different markers. The Stampin' Blends are the alcohol markers for coloring. Um, the Stampin' Write markers are a water-based marker for coloring your stamps, watercolor techniques. All those other things you can color with them as well but you're not going to get as smooth of a look as you would with the alcohol markers okay let's get into DSP we have a ton of new specialty DSPs so check those out on page 127 and then if you are a DSP fan you will want to check out all of the other DSPs um, they run from 128 to 133 so so many different look at that one I cannot wait to get these two specifically honestly I can't wait to see those in person so love them can't wait to see them Okay, let's keep going. Hold on. I gotta get to my last page of notes. Okay, we are almost to the end. So on page 171, now if you get to the, this page and your wish list is enormously long, please consider joining Stampin' Up! You're gonna get a discount. Um, there's no pressure to sell. There's no pressure to do classes. Um, I'd love to have you as part of my team. It is $99.00 to join Stampin' Up! You get to choose 125 in product and then you get a discount on your future orders after that. So if you get to page 171 and you have a really long wish list, please consider joining. All right, and then finally on page 172 is our Stampin' Rewards program. When your order reaches over $150, you start accumulating Stampin' Rewards. So you're gonna get a percentage of that back in, like shopping dollars. And they have exclusive products for um for those rewards you can spend them on now you can spend those stampin rewards on anything but there are i'm trying to get the chart in but there are exclusive products that you can buy with them and you can only get them with stampin rewards so the chart is down here of course the more you spend the more you accumulate now this does not have to be your personal sales you can gather some friends together you can have a little party um you can have a little class i would love to help you with that so you can contact me if you want to to do any of that. I would love to help you set that up. Okay, I'm going to put the catalog off to the side. Now, if you do want to place an order, we have a brand new host code. We are in May, with a new, brand new month, brand new host code. All orders receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is over $50 or more, you're going to receive a make and take kit that coordinates with those. So make sure if you're shopping this month, you are using this host code. Now, if your order is over $150, of course, don't use the host code. You're going to get those Stampin' Rewards, um, and I will still send you that make and take kit. Okay, let's get to the swaps. So I participated in a swap with some other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. This was the cart I made. It is super cute. I use that Zany Zoo. I'll try to get it in the frame here. I use that Zany Zoo bundle. I made a cute little fun fold. And details on this will be on my blog on Thursday, so you can check out more details on this. But I used Stampin' Blends to color that little image. So cute. Some different DSP patterns. I just made a super cute little fun fold. So this will be on my blog on... On Thursday with more details. Um, so a card swap. So I made 20 of these and I sent them off to our card swap organizer. She then got cards from multiple demonstrators and I got 20 different cards back. So they, they kind of just trade out cards. So we're going to go through all those cards. I'm going to give credit to all of these demonstrators. Um, and I'm going to try to mention the stamp sets on here. This one is Kathy Miller. This is that Circle Sayings stamp set. It is so cute. I really like this one a lot. Um, I can't wait to play with it more, but um, there's Winga Stella on the cupcake. Um, just these colors are so fun, and you're going to see lots of new colors as we go through all these swaps. All right, this one is Lonnie Pillar, or Lonnie Pillar. I'm not sure how you say that. 
if these are your cards and I am butchering your name, I, I do apologize. Um, this one uses multiple new stamp sets. So this is the Countryside Countryside N. I, the, DSP, the DSP is called Countryside N, but I don't think that's what the stamp set is called. But these new dies are phenomenal. Look at those. Oh, I need to tack that down a little bit. But look at those dies. So fun. I was playing with this card yesterday, so I think I might have pulled it up. But so many different layers. She's got a layered inside, too. And she uses that circle sayings again and some new embellishments. So it's really cute more with the circle sayings. This one I love. She paired it up with an embossing folder and the deckled rectangle dies. There's some little sequins on there, some new DSP. So really fun. And this one is Monica Gilberti. So really cute. I didn't realize um, how well that that circle punch layered on the, the stylish shapes dies. So I just noticed that. So fun. I'm going to have to do that. All right. Another fun bright card. This is Melanie Coverston, um, that cupcake. It's going to be so popular, guys. And I've made a few cards with that cupcake. I love it. Um, she also has some like a Stella on the little the icing there. She's got some new ribbons. It's a really cute card. I love those colors too. Nice and bright. All right, this is Amy Rich. So this is that same countryside in DSP. It is such a good DSP. And this is a really fun folded. Um, the corner folds back. It's really cute. It's a really cute um, card. Those dies again. These are from those little dies, but a really cute card. Okay, more with that countryside in paper. There's some new dies here. This is the new Daisy bundle, which is really cute. I love this. And the new embossing folder. And this one is Nancy Thompson. Let me open it up so you can see that embossing on that embossing folder. It's a really pretty folder. So, okay. This one, this one is super cute. This one is a little um, pocket card, Layla Mikey. Um, but the little card pops out. So there's a little pocket down here in the bottom corner. The little card pops out and it is just like a little pocket sized card. If you don't have a lot to write, this is a great way to, to send it. Super cute. All right. This is one of the new host stamp sets. This is Jessica Bridgeton. Um, and I really love this. I, I said last night to my team when I was doing the I was showing them the cards and I said, you know, when I see an image like this, I'm so drawn to just have to color it, but just stamped in that misty moonlight. I think it's misty moonlight. It's so elegant. You don't have to color it. It's very pretty. And then she added stamping on the inside. This stamp set I love. So I might have to get that one. Um, this is also a new um, word stamp set with new word dies. We all love those. Um, so cute. All right, this is Dina Rico. This features all five of the brand new in colors. You have Moody Mob, Wild Wheat, Pebble Path, Boho Blue, and Copper Clay. So all five of the brand new in colors are featured on this card. Um, super cute. This one is Julie Salva, and I love this fun fold. I have not made this one in years, but I just love it. Look how cute. I think it's time for celebration. This uses a brand new stamp set. Um, lots of new embellishments on here too. So really cute cute card this one is holly sutton which i love this is a z fold card so you get that fun open there and z fold cards are they're always a hit i love them and then there's dsp new dsp new dots really really cute um really cute card this one i love as well this is Kristen gill this has those new dies. She used it as a frame instead, which is just a fun way to do it. There's some gold gilding on the leaves, which I'm not sure the camera will pick up, but it is gorgeous. And then the inside has that greeting, but this is beautiful coloring, beautiful card. And she has a new embossing folder on the back there too. All right, I have more, don't worry, we have more. All right, we have the little monkey here. This is such a cute bundle. I've been playing with this one a lot. Um, this is Sandy Addis. Um, so she didn't color it. She just stamped it on some colored cardstock. So you don't have to color it. Those little bananas on the inside. Super cute. Another one with the little monkey. This one is colored, but it just shows different ways you can do it. And they're colored almost the same, the same way, but um, one's colored and one's just used on cardstock. So really fun. And then the balloon, such a cute little touch. Happy birthday. This one is Karen Titus. So really fun. A new DSP on that one too. All right, this is Kathy Daw. Daw, yeah, Kathy Daw. Um, I love this one. I love the simplicity of this one. This is our new in color Moody Mauve. 
Um, there's a new dies there, new paper, new ribbon, new stamp set. So cute on the inside. So this is a really cute card. Really simple. I really love it. <clears throat> All right. Um, Debbie McNeil. This is a super cute fun fold. I can't wait to make this one. It kind of pops out like that. This has a new Daisy bundle, some new Daisy DSP. Um, and then to write, you have a little spot in the back to write. So super cute, right? I love this. So I think we're going to have to make one of these cards. I think they're super cute. So this one, another one with the daisies. This is um, Janie Pullman. And this is another Z Fold card. It's super cute. Those These dies are so fun. I think that I'm going to have to get this daisy stamp set. It wasn't on my list initially, but I really like it a lot. And this DSP is very pretty. I have this coming to me too, so super excited. Um, Jen Charles, this one, this is another great card just with those dies. You can see that sh the shape of those dies are fantastic. New stamps and new embellishments. Really cute card. All right, a couple more cards here. Another one with the daisies. I'm telling you guys, this daisy one, it's going to be a keeper. Um, Sonia Bernard. So really love this one. This is new in colors. Um, the Pebbled Path and the Boho Blue. Very cute. I think this is the Wild Wheat too. So very, very cute. All right, last card. More with the daisies. This is Susie Wood. <clears throat> these dies again. These are from those daisy dies, I believe. Super cute. Um, and then that paper. So just a really fun, fun card and um, great, great selection there. All right, guys. So let me know. Did you love any of these bundles? Will you be shopping the brand new catalog? Um, I will be back next week with a really fun project and I'm hoping to start another Sunday series. So keep your eyes peeled for in my VIP group where I will go live in my VIP group for Sunday. Um, so thanks guys for joining me. That's all I have for you today. Make sure if you are shopping, make sure to use this host code. And if you're on Facebook, please share this with your crafty friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. I'd love to know if you had a favorite among these cards. I think they're fantastic cards. Um, card swaps are always a great way to get some great ideas. So I can't wait to recreate some of these. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Happy new catalog day. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.